I'm going to show you live trades taken with a perfect strategy and the best part is it's such a simple strategy to trade so any beginner can pick it up and trade right away. Let's get straight into it. Open up TradingView, we're going to be using two indicators for this strategy so let's open up the community scripts section. The first indicator we need is a VWAP. Search VWAP divergence and add this one and then search SFX algo and add this one. We now need to perfect the settings. This will improve the win rate massively. So first open up the VWAP settings and in the style section, turn off the bullish and bearish divergence dots. And that's it for the VWAP. Next, open up the SFX algo settings and we're going to change the indicator sensitivity to 25. Then disable dashboard settings, rating settings, remove the volatility bands and then remove TP1, 2 and 3. Let's open up the chart and have a look at some of the trades since the start of the month. Now for this trading strategy to work successfully, we have a powerful rule. The SFX algo indicator shows buy and sell labels. The actual labels themselves show a star rating. This rating varies from one to five. It's very important that we only take trades with a star rating of three or higher, as this improves the strategy's results and allows us to make more consistent trades. So let's now open the chart and have a look at some of these trades. So as we can see, we've got the indicator on the chart here. The labels represent the SFX algo indicator and then the green and red line represent the VWAP divergence indicator. For this strategy to work, for a buy signal, we need to wait until the VWAP line is green and price is above. And then we need to see a buy label with a star rating of three or higher. And then for a sell, the VWAP needs to be red with price below, and then we need to see a star rating of three or higher. So looking at the chart here, we can see the VWAP line is green with a buy label right here, but it's not confirmed as it only has a star rating of one. Then we have this sell, which is five stars, but it's above the green VWAP line. Then we have a couple more here. This buy isn't valid as it's only the one star. This sell isn't valid. Price then crosses through the VWAP line, giving us a buy, but it is under the VWAP line. And then finally, the VWAP crosses right here. And this is where we have two valid trades take place. Right after the cross, we have a pullback with a sell label. This does have a three star rating, but it is above the green VWAP. So we won't be taking this trade. And then straight after that, we have our first trade entry for the strategy with a three star buy label. You can see it is green, the candles are green, and it is above a green VWAP line. This is our first buy trade, so let's enter the position and I can show you how to make entries. It's important that we wait for candle close so that the label is locked in. Now for the trade entry, we enter on the candle close right here. Our stop loss will go right at the point of the candle's bottom. And from here, we will be targeting a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. And that trade hit our take profit. Straight after this trade, we have a sell trade with a three star label, but the VWAP line is still green and price is still above. So we're only looking for buys here. And then after that, we have a three star buy label paint. This trade is definitely valid, so we can enter on the close of the candle. So we'd enter right here, pull our stop loss to the bottom of the candle, wicks included, and then we target that 1.5 risk to reward. You can try targeting a higher risk to reward like two or 2.5, but having a 1.5 risk to reward gives the highest win rate possible and it improves the chance of the trade actually hitting massively. If you want more profit, try increasing your lot size or what I've done for this strategy is risking 2% per trade instead of 1%. And just before I show you the results, let me show you a couple examples of sell trades. So we can see right here, the VWAP line is red and price is below, but there is only a buy label that paints. Now you would have entered this trade, but we're only looking for sells. And then at the point of this candle right here, the VWAP line changes from green to red with a sell label painting on the following candle. This trade has given us a three star rating, so we can't actually enter this trade. So we'd enter on the close of this candle right here. We then move our stop loss just above the high wick of the sell label and then pull the take profit to a 1.5 risk to reward. Now, after that sell trade, we have a buy label paint, but the VWAP line is red, so it isn't valid. And then following that buy label, we have our first four star rating sell right at the very low of price. 
So we'd enter this cell label on the close of the candle, stop loss above and then target the 1.5. As we can see, this trade didn't actually hit and this is the first loss for the strategy so far. But not all of these labels will hit, but what's important is staying consistent and following the rules of taking sells below the red VWAP and buys above the green VWAP. Okay, so let's now take a look at the results. We took 150 trades with this strategy with a 1,890% gain on a small $100 account, risking 2% per trade. And for this strategy, we had 121 wins and only 29 losses, giving us an overall win rate of 80.67%. Absolutely amazing results. If you wanna check this strategy out for yourself, then click the first link below and the link in the comments and join Flux Charts right now for seven days off risk-free and you'll even get 20% off when you use code MO at checkout. They have amazing indicators, both free and paid and an awesome Discord full of like-minded traders like yourself. So sign up right now and I'll see you in there and thank you very much for watching. My name is Mo and I will see you in the next one.